What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Modern Cube. We got Team Jabro in the chat. I think Mono is very good in this iteration. Does that mean we take Blade Splicer and Wheel Figure? Or do we take Resto and Wheel Figure? I think Resto is probably the best one. And I think one of these two should wheel. Let's hear the Sweet Mike B song again. It's called oh, Sweet B Song. It's not super long. so beautiful absolutely beautiful i think i think figure is going to come back you can mark my words that figure of destiny will come back it's probably not people are just watching they're like shit jabra said figure i gotta take it i'm gonna take glorious anthem actually i think the one drops are really important in the deck and i think glorious has a better chance of tabling than kithian jthd was so excited when he made it i told him it had a bowie vibe. it does it does kind of have a bowie vibe to it wow that's really interesting ground control to oh well, let's take batter skull in case we hit a stone forge i like that uh spectral spectral's got to be better than lingering in the in the mono color deck for sure hell yeah Jaybro, I'm very, I'm very proud of you for all the work that you've been doing, and all the stuff that you've been posting on Facebook, man. I'm really grateful that you and I see eye to eye on a lot of things. So, Archangel Avison and Fairgrounds Warden. I don't care about either of these dudes. Michael B. Spires for Splash. I never. I don't want to have to do. I don't want to have to do it. I just want to play eight, seventeen planes. I'm gonna take Fairgrounds Warden. It can get an early dude out of the way. It can also attack for Kithian. So look at this perfect curve. One, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to stay positive and fighting for dude. It's it's so it's such a struggle though. Like. It's so hard not to get discouraged sometimes. I have to be very careful not to respond to a lot of Frank's posts because get fucked is probably not the kind of dialogue between his friends he wants to see. <sighs> to be fair, um, I think anyone you'd be saying get fucked to because I think I think you and I David I think you and I also have very similar political views I think anyone you'd be saying get fucked to uh, is not necessarily a friend selfless spirit we're doing it guys N that, that being said don't go don't go saying that to people but you know it is worth uh, just clarifying I guess Oh, student warfare? Yeah, all right. Yeah, the dude the dude who called Brian an idiot and said, I can't wait to see more of your streams where you get roasted. I was just like, like, that's where you kind of lost me because I'm like, A, you're insulting an actual friend of mine. This isn't like some, just like, this isn't like a dude who's following me on 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 facebook or whatever brian is an actual friend of mine like i've known brian for years and be like brian is like one of the most well liked like figureheads of collectible card games that i've ever met like brian is almost universally liked and appreciated so to call him like 
an idiot. Oh, J, J Road figure of destiny did not come back. To call him not only an idiot, but to say like, I can't wait till your chat roasts you. Literally have never seen him get roasted in the chat because he knows more than... Mm, I would say 99%, but I don't think that's accurate. He knows more than 100% of his viewers. So yeah, it was just mind-blowing to me. And like that, That's at the point where like, if you friend request me on Facebook and I have no idea who you are, and then you're going to like insult my friends... Like, that's kind of where I draw a line. <sighs> Wait, Lingering Souls? Hmm. All right. Oh, Needle Spires came back for that Nahiri. That's interesting. Okay. Well, we got something going. We can splash black. What if the Shambling Vents come back? Is that the last one? I don't know if I'm having regrets or not. I think this card's still great. But figure, man. It is an 8 8 first striker. I do like that the Glorious Anthem came back. Michael B. Michael B. Michael B. Michael B. The Shambling Vent came back. That's pretty sweet, actually. Is it still possible to win without a figure? I don't think so. Can I drop? Do any of these let me drop? Hmm, that's unfortunate. Guess we'll play it out. Ooh, Hero of Blade Hold, though. Do you guys think Ugin the Spirit Dragon is a solid pickup for this deck? I can't tell. Hero or Wiltly Fleege? J-Link, if, if you guys friend request me on Facebook, please message me because I have no idea. Dude, I literally have right now. <laughs> I have, let's go to see all. 900 friend requests in my queue. <laughs> I have, I, do, I don't, I don't just accept them randomly anymore because of the amount of shit that I get on my Facebook page when they don't like my, my political opinions. Um, so usually if people want to get added to my to my Facebook page, they just message send me a message and be like, hey, this is me from the chat. And usually if you're just cool and you're not like a a, a pot stirring shitlord, like I have no issue adding you. I kinda like Godless Shrine because it turns our lingering souls into some good stuff. I'm gonna take the Godless Shrine. I think Charming Prince or Journey will come back, and I think that's fine. Mirren Crusader, however, is a beast. I'm a shit stirring pot lord. <laughs> I know, buddy. I know. You haven't heard Shitler in years? Wow, that's wild. It's just Path, right? Michael B. J-Link, I like that you sent I sent you sent the message to my public page, my public like Facebook page. But the friend request is obviously through my personal page, so Can you guess who? All right, Jay, like I'm accepting it now. Can you elaborate on your picks a little more and your thought process? I'm going to take Luminous Broodmoth because I think this card is probably bananas in our deck. Um, Team J Bro, I'm going to say this one more time just because I'm not sure what the situation is. I can't tell if you're trolling me right now because you are clearly, I don't know, I don't, I'm going to just say better. 
at cubes than I am, just based on your records. So it's I'm, I'm like, does he really want my advice? Because, and I have a Pro Tour top eight, and I'm just like, this dude, what's happening right now? Broodmoth seems really good just in general, like a three four flyer that also gives you a second hero of blade hold. Uh, God, I'm really getting I'm getting a little getting a little anxious about our all our three drops, but I do really like Luris in this deck. Being able to cast a Danto Vanguard, Selfless Spirit, Student, or Kithian so far seems pretty good. Um, Lyra also seems fine. I like to learn from people and hearing others helps me and others get better. I'm going to take Luris. I think despite all our three drops, Luris is still correct. Again, though, like, I'm not going to take Flicker Wisp because <laughs> six three drops. Probably it's either Deccan Stoner. I mean, these are the only two options we have, right? So I think it might be just Revoker. It's not white, but it still gets pumped by Glorious Anthem because it's not Honor of the Pure. Ranger of Eos could actually be pretty good. It's also the only white card. There, a lot of these picks are coming down to just being, like, one white card in the pack. So. And Liege came back. Also, Banishing Light came back. We could also splash this Soren off of our shambling in our, our Godless Shrine. I think, I think the, um, oh, Charming Prince came back. Perfect. I think pumps, I think the pump effect is more important. Again, three drops, so. I mean, I'm not going to play Ranger unless we get like one or two more one drops, which I want anyway. But I think all four of these are pretty much game winning cards. Oh, Terminus. We can Terminus ourselves. I'll take Midnight Reaper in case we just want to splash it. I don't think we're ever in a situation to play Terminus. <laughs> Baneslayer. I don't actually dislike... I mean, if we don't actually play the Batter Skull because we don't get Stoneforge, then I might just play Baneslayer. anything here but i will take the sweeper just in case oh condemn is nice i'll take condemn because it's another one mana removal spell whereas like we already have bane slayer we don't really need lyra oh man history seems real good i feel like with the number of three drops i kind of just want isolated chapel because it just makes it certain that we play the lingering souls which is also another three drop that i wasn't even counting <laughs> so that's unfortunate walking ballista also an option Sunlance is fine. Um, I do like Baneslayer, actually. I just don't want to have too many five drops, especially when uh when the the experienced Jabro has has uh suggested we play 16 lands. I think history I mean, history's probably better than like Fairgrounds Warden. I think I just want to isolate the chapel. I'm trying to minimize the number of three drops we're picking up here. This pack is terrible for us. I mean, I guess this is a plain swamp. <laughs> oh, man. I think it's Command Cube Villainous Wealth. And then just the card name. Is this Felidar Guardian? That's unexciting. On Burial Rites? You think history is better than procession? I don't know if it is with glorious anthem. I'm just taking the trium. Like again, it's a dual land that we could play. Giver of runes seems very good. Let's take a giver of runes. Another trial land we can play. That's coincidental. Giver seems good. How many lands do you think each double face land is Zendikar is worth? I mean, how many should you play in Zendikar draft? Um, I've actually been playing. I haven't been playing them as 
spells. Or I mean, I've been playing them as lands, rather. So if you have two of them, I'd still play 17 lands. Cloudguard Ranger is actually probably fine here. Titan, because we are mono white. I mean, I'd probably take Bitter Blossom, because I think we can cast it with, like... We have four green-black lands. And I also think... I think it's just Cloudguard Ranger. Do I still write articles? Literally every week on cool stuff. It's also a command. I, it's also literally in the lower right on the screen, like, over, over there. Like, it's also in my Twitch profile. It's also in my YouTube description. I always get really confused, like, when people ask me if I still write articles and stuff, because I'm like, it's, I post it everywhere. I talk about it. I'm always like, coolstuffinc.com, every Wednesday I have new articles. You can use Frank 5 to get 5% off. So I always get really confused. I'm like, what else can I do? I'm taking Thalia here. Thalia is just one of the great cards here. If you have 5 or 6, I don't know if I've gotten to that point yet. I mean, I'd probably go like, I'd probably like... I'd probably cut one land for every two uh, double face lands I have. I think that's probably correct. So if you have like four double face lands, I would probably cut two lands, like 15. So it would still give you like 19 lands. Tribunal seems good. Winota is interesting. Have you considered a sub a Subber Bowl ad? I don't know what that is. What's a Subber? Oh, Isamaru? Why am I unreasonably excited about this beautiful one drop? Twirl signs on corners that get a lot of views? That's a good idea. Actually, I could probably hire Michael B to go on... Fucking awesome. I can hire Michael B to go on the corner and twirl a sign. You know what I'm saying? Take him burger rights. At least we can play it. Because, like, it gives your deck functionally 19 lands, right? But the odds are you're not going to play many of those uh, as lands, hopefully. But if you have to, like... Batter Skull is not good enough without That's correct. This is 25. So we technically need one cut if we play 16, which I think we can get away with. Hmm... I'll take a spell skate. I also kind of like Ranger here. We do have four one drops. Is Batter Nozzle better than Bane, Bizzle, Bedizzle? That's a good question. I think Cloud Goat Ranger is better than Batter Skull. Just because that dude goes real wide. Ooh, we can splash for Sundering Titan. Splash, he said, for the colorless card. Lingering Souls does get worse with Thalia. It's unfortunate because we have four fixing lands. But I actually think it's probably the cut. We already have Spectral. Spectral does get worse too, but like... Is Resto doing much here? <laughs> Sometimes you say stuff and it's so disrespectful. I don't understand. But you know what? Maybe it's not doing much here. Let's find out. Maybe we cut Resto and add a Ranger. Resto makes me sad. It's not a Kith can do her. I mean, I had a good feeling that it was going to come back, but it did not. So the things that are valuable with Resto. Cloud Goat's real good. You're a two drop. This guy's good. Resetting this guy's fine. I definitely don't think there's enough for Resto. I think Ranger's probably better. I actually don't think I want Revoker on the sideboard just because I I want the two drop. Do we just play 17? I think it's just 16, 16 planes. Resto can blink Ranger. You're getting out a card that combos with the card you're adding. I, I agree that Resto is just a 3-4 flyer is still fine. Especially if it's a 4-5 flyer. Hmm. 
well, we're definitely just playing 16 of these. Mayo is like my family. My problem is I really don't think we're blinking this guy. I think blinking this guy is not going to net us many creatures. It's probably going to have one dude left in our deck if we do that. We, I mean, we took Lingering Souls out because it's, it's not great with Thalia. Like, we're, you guys got to keep up here. Also, it's instant speed. Hmm. I like that. I think this is our configuration. Because you also don't have a ton of evasion outside of, like, uh, Spectral. And, I guess, Selfless Spirit. And Brubath. But that's pretty much it. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, check out manatraders.com. You can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below in the description. And uh, it's a great way to support the channel. And also, it's a great way to test out your favorite formats like Standard, Modern, Pioneer. Mana Traders is the, uh, the service that I use for all of my subscription needs on here. So, oh, this is, this is a hand, all right. Let's do it. It's possible this deck doesn't lose the game. I don't think it's likely, though. Maybe it's fine. What can they have here? Fatal Push? They can go like, Watery Grave, Fatal Push. They did not have that. Thalia is so good against so many decks, dude. Especially if you have any any sort of decent start. This stat's just going to go up to three next turn. Dennis, what's going on, my dude? Do you think draft is easier on Arena MTGO or the opponent's softer? I don't actually, I, I don't actually have an opinion there, to be honest with you. I feel like I do better on arena drafts, but I'm not sure why. I don't know what to attribute that to. Oh, the two mana opt. Thrabes? Look at this guy. Oh, Mirror and Crusader. Can I just make this a 4-4? Four, four? Or a 7-7? Seven, seven? Is that better than... Actually, it's probably just better to play, play this and attack for four, right? Can we get an over-under on Frank Trophy this draft? I think, I think he gets it. I, th I think he get it no probably. What is that? Jonathan, that's not even a sentence. And you craft legislation, sir. Oh, no problem. No probably was no problem. Nice. I appreciate your support, buddy. Well, they drew... They got an armor elf on top. He Shut will get up, shuffled out of the money. trophy. Oh, Restoration Angel donated a dollar. Am I not good enough for you? Restoration Angel. You're literally in the deck. Okay? But I appreciate your Dwight Schrute meme. I think... Okay, well. I think our record is good so far. <laughs> Guys, we're one we're one sixth of the way there. Can you guess who it's Michael B?
5.5 game wins. Yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take the under on that one. Mose in socks, case closed. There is actually no Boros Reckoner. Yeah, I know. Wait, is my sideboard still up? That's kind of funny. Oh, Thalia into Lurus? Guys. Can you, can you imagine if we just top deck like Kithian? Oh yeah, keep for sure. Oh, they went to six on the play? How do they win? We got Thalia. I don't understand. Oh. You know what? You're not... You're not a Kithian, but you're all right. And I appreciate you. Joel Real. Wow, we have so many ways to, to keep our Thalia alive. That's pretty wild. Okay. Kick it. I'm pretty sure I still attack. If they want to double block, I can kill this. Actually, I don't think so. That doesn't feel good. Like, they double block. We kill this, then we just trade our Thalia. Eh. Like, how many, how many non- creature spells do they have oh uh, i don't think i've ever heard it said but dc marvel 100 i love dc i think dc books are great but um i i i was gr i grew up with marvel so i'm like all right so they're on mystic just gonna slam brood moth here so we can Yeah, the reason I have Marvel Comics is because I think I just think they're infinitely they're infinitely more collectible. Okay, so I don't think I actually saw what they drew instead. Oh, they're drawing they're drawing Crater Hoof instead of Okay. Hoof Cobra. Got it. I was like, I don't know what they drew instead. They didn't draw anything. Okay, four mana cultivate. They put a forest into play. We know they have an island. Now they have a lumbering falls and a hoof. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this could be bad. Okay, Nissa Terras. So we know they got island. I think we're losing. Wait, why aren't I swinging? Oh, you mean just to, like to kill these guys and give them flying? But then they just become one ones, right? Oh no, they just return with with flying. Yeah, that's a good point. It's because I'm I. So real talk, I think the main reason is because I actually forgot this was a nightmare shepherd. I thought they got exiled, and uh, came back as one ones. That's super weird. I think I just completely blanked. I've never actually cast luminous brood moth. So wow. Okay. So you played this. Yeah. This is probably the end. Because they have greater hoof hand, so unless we're just dodging all the removal ever. Oh, okay, that's good. Yep, we're just gonna scoop to that. I cannot imagine the possible thing we could draw here that would stop crater hoof. Mirror and Crusader is not it, but it's relatively close. I also don't think just swinging with these guys would have actually done it, but possibly. Oh. 
Yeah, so the lesson here is be way more aggressive when you have Luminous Broodmoth out. Did we do the math on that hoof? No, no, we did not. So they had Jolrael, Cat, uh, Centaur, Ranger, Kith, Kith, Kith. Um, they played something else, right? One of these we will, though, right? What do you mean? What are you saying right now? What are you saying, standard beat? That's true. I have I have come away with this. Oh yeah, for sure, hundred percent keep. I have definitely learned a valuable lesson here. Come on, Thalia, one more time. You know what? That's fine. Unless they go Corsair of Prefix, and then I just get sad. They did not play Corsair of Crucifix. This hand is actually great because <laughs> um, we have perfect curve here. I was like, they have double black here, which is super interesting. I don't think they have any black cards in their deck, but... Hmm. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Now it flies. <sighs> I ordered a trimmer for my ear and nose hair. Good grief. One, two, three, four, five. So we're doing a six mana thing. Yep, that's pretty good. Pretty sure I can't beat that. <sighs> uh, I think we just play Cloud Goat because it actually contests this at the very least. Whereas like Broodmoth can still be blocked. Or can still block Mirror Crusader rather. Dragon Lord Silumgar. Fantastic. I think we have one path to XL in our deck. See, Team, team Driver, when it comes to your trophies, like, this is why I don't understand it. Because I'm like, little situations like this come up constantly for me in the cube. They play one threat, I don't have the exact answer for it, and then I lose to it. So I'm just like, I don't understand where these 18 trophies come from. Like, do you just actively avoid these situations? Yeah, I'll just take three here. <laughs> it's like, okay, you got it. <sighs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just have actual nothing that's going to contest any of this stuff. Like, it's just... <sighs> kind of unreal in my, in my estimation. Now they go Nissa, put counters on all their guys the exact same way they did last game. So, I mean. Yep.
five mana. Yep, don't know why you... Oh, they had to pay four for it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I mean, I probably would have tapped Rattleclaw instead of my 4-4 four, four Vigilant Forest. But what do I know? And now it's a 4-6, so Cloud Goat Ranger actually can't do anything against it. Yep. It's just so discouraging and unfortunate. Like, I mean, none of these cards do anything, so. I don't know. I think it's hard to get to not get discouraged when you, like, constantly face losses like this over and over. Like, because they play, again, because of, it's not Vintage Cube. It's not Legacy Cube. Like, you don't have answers to these things. I don't have, like, Fiery Confluence to, to wipe a board. I don't have, like, Mystic Confluence. I don't have Sublime Epiphany. Like, there's these, these cards just aren't better. I, I can't just, like okay, you have an overrolling position. I can't just draw a combo piece or, you know, draw a, a card like Ponder or Preordain to, or Ancestral Recall to find an out. I can't time walk, give myself another turn. Like, there's just so many things you can't do. And because of that, there are so many situations that, like, one Dragonlord Silumgar just <laughs> can't beat it. Cool. So, I don't know. It just gets really discouraging. I don't know how else to address that kind of discouragement. I mean, there's so many, like, if it has five toughness and it's black, like, the odds of you being able to kill it easily, or, or at all, are pretty low, I think. Whereas, like, if you do something broken, like play Dragonlord Silumgar, like, it's very likely I can just, like, kill you on the next turn, you know? In another format, you know? So, I mean, but it's not like, it's not like I'm, I'm gonna kill you no matter what. Like, it's a matter of, like, there's a lot more interplay in the other cube formats, whereas in this cube format, like, now they have a 1-3 and I have a 2-2. Two -two. Hmm... So, I mean, next turn we could play Glorious if we hit a land. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, I'm just, I'm not trying to be super negative, but I am trying to more adequately explain how I feel about the Vintage Cube. Or the, the, the Modern Cube, rather. And why I think it's not great. Yep, and now we can, we're probably just going to lose the next turn, I'm pretty sure, so. <laughs> uh... Yep, get your red source. Fascinating. I mean, I guess they can't have Splinter Twin, right? Because it's illegal and modern, but then again... You know what? I don't know. Could just be Portion Legionnaire level up student. I don't think Glorious Anthem is where we want to be. I think we actually want to just have more on the board. This doesn't do anything by itself. I'll just play Blade Splicer. It's two bodies. If this was level one as a 3-3, three, three, I think it'd be different. But outside, because all our creatures die to these stupid elementals, so... No, oh, but they're not attacking with them, so that's okay. Huh. <sighs> Let's go Revoker. We'll name Kiki Jiki so we don't just randomly die to it out of nowhere. But I'm sure they have, like, Magma Spray for it, so... That's my guess. What's the average amount of turns you get in this queue? I really don't... I'm not sure. But there's definitely, like, a... It reminds me of regular draft formats where, like, you can tell in five turns who's going to win the game. And it doesn't necessarily change that frequently, if that makes sense. Hmm... 
You know what I mean? Like in a, in a regular draft game, if they have three creatures and you have one and they have three cards in hand and they have the momentum, they have the initiative is what they, what they call it. And like in versus system, it was called the initiative. And it, it means like you get to play your actions first. Um, and by that, I mean like if I have three creatures and I'm untapped and you have two creatures and you're tapped out, like I pretty much control the board you don't get to have safe blocks or safe like combats yep of course it wasn't front of titan <laughs> and again we have no answer for that so we're probably just dead to this card shoot here yep let's just do this i guess path to exile one one time we have one path to exile on our deck one toughness creature not gonna do it i mean we just can't get through this. We have no we have actually no way to get through this. Uh we have like zero removal enchantments. I we might have a conclave. No, we have one condemn in the sideboard that we're not playing, but otherwise we don't have any of them. We didn't get Journey or Oblivion Ring or anything like that. And that's possibly my fault. I mean, of course it's my fault I didn't take them, but I also didn't value them very high, I don't think. Well, I do have to draw. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Let's see what happens. Yep, cool. Attack for a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. Good times. And like we've been playing Fairgrounds Warden, we have Fairgrounds Warden and Path. We didn't draw either of them last game. We didn't draw them this game. Oh, we have Conclave Tribunal in the deck too, so we definitely have options. We just don't get to draw them in in any sort of fashion that allows us to uh, mount a comeback. See, like yeah, I play games like this where I'm like completely outclassed, and like I don't think this deck is bad by any means. Um, I think it's a decent representation of a mono white deck. But, like, you know, our opponents can still play one specific card, and, then like, there's just not a tremendous amount of ways to deal with it. Like, I, I do agree Journey would probably be a good um, addition. I mean, even Condemn, though, like, they just don't attack with their Dragonlord Selimgar. They didn't once, so... <laughs> Dramoka's Command actually would have saved us there, yeah. Prevent all the damage from it. Yep, nope sure so I guess I'm just trying to talk it through like I'm just trying to talk out my frustrations with this format and not like um I'm actually going to keep both of these I do want the four mana spell. Okay. Fascinating. And that's sad that it's Lava Coil, because now we cannot get it back with Lurus in the future. Just play Laris now. I think a 3-2 on board is probably better than a 2-1. Even though we don't get any immediate value from it. Well, they missed a land drop, so this is kind of how uh, we hope to win. I'm really reluctant to just walk into a, a Storm's Wrath here, which is why I'm just playing Kithian and keeping up uh, indestructibility. So, of course, they're going to have it right now. Yep. <sighs> Never fails. I 
have no idea. Chandra. What's her name? Torture Defiance. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, they are at seven. Spellskite. Harbinger. Sure. Well, oh, Hero of Bladehold, yes, Hero of Bladehold can win games on its own, and we're over here like suckers. Sure. Okay, so this turn's actually not ter- I guess they just redirect the, the path, so that's pretty bad. Huh. Well. And then they just go block, block, block. It's pretty terrible. They have Spellskite. We have one card that targets anything of theirs. I guess we have two in the whole deck. Three if you include Fairgrounds Horn. So three cards in our deck that target anything. And we're facing a spell skite. That's pretty comical. Might as well make them use it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Always name spells, guys. <laughs> it's not a terrible strategy. Sure. So they got two here. This is interesting that they don't kill Gideon here. I mean, why not copy this guy and kill Gideon? That's confusing. I mean, if we attack, they just copy this guy and bounce it, right? But isn't that just worse? They also have five cards in hand. We have two, like... I can't copy Master of Waves, which is the the only saving grace here. Yeah, I think we just play Gideon. Well, you can't you can't Kiji here, right? Because he's got pro red, so yeah. I don't. I have no idea why you didn't just kill Gideon. Like, isn't that just better than me? I 
I might be done with this format. <laughs> this might be our last Ura. As the Marines would say. Resto, Blink Master Waves. Seems good. Oh, they just kill us. That's fantastic. That's hilarious. Congratulations. You just bribery your own combo. <sighs> Jaybro, do you say we're going to trophy? I forgot. Did you... I thought you... I thought you mentioned that, but... Uh... Yeah. This is my luck. This is my cube luck. Like... So... My opponent briberies and takes my resto to combo their own kiki-jiki. And then they play Phantasmal Mage twice on my Clyde Goat Ranger both times. <laughs> Stop just saying. Uh, I mean, I guess we're learning things, right? <laughs> we're learning to... I don't know. Draft, like, the Journey to Nowhere would have been decent at some point, but... I also always worry about diluting my threats, though. I, like, I want to make sure I have enough two drops that I'm always going to hit a one drop and a two drop. I've had by far the most amount of 306s of mono white in this cube. Weird. What's your, what's your, how many like pieces of removal do you have? Cause I feel like there are just certain creatures that just like, they, they just can't, you can't do anything about it. Like a Dragon Lord Silumgar, Inferno Titan, Master of Waves, you know, like all these creatures, they have to be removed or else they just literally roadblock you. Also, I'm pretty sure that that guy did not say big fan. So otherwise I would have, I would have said something. Like, which is, I mean, three three is funny because that's what we have. We have Path, we have uh, Fairgrounds Warden, which I do consider. It gets rid of any of the, the aforementioned creatures. And we have Conclave Tribunal. Like, we do have four pieces of removal. Um, I don't think I've drawn Fairgrounds Warden or Conclave Tribunal. Like, the cards I have not drawn in any of the games... Yeah, I haven't drawn any of these in any games. Whereas, like, I'm pretty sure I've drawn every other card more than once. Giver of Runes I also have not drawn. Oh, he said it in chat. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Frank, I was at a point. I love you sharing that. Dude, I really appreciate it. Thank you for saying so, man. I didn't even notice it. I was like, I don't think they were a big fan. They didn't say that. And there you were. And then they appeared. 3-3 three, three Pumper? Uh, Benalish Marshall? Yeah, that guy's very good. I mean, he's no, he's no figure of destiny. Wow, I just found the perfect uh, the perfect cardboard crack for for my my entire my entire magic experience. I think. Oh, she. My bad. Actually, I'm not sure if I. I'm not sure if I said he or they. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just very confused, okay? I'm just tired of losing Modern Cube. You're the woman from San Fran who whipped my butt. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I was also having a tough time pronouncing the name, so I was like, 
uh, hey, hey, it was, I did one of those, hey, you, oh, I know you, jing-a-ding-dang-do, is that correct? Did you give them permission to use your likeness in a comic? Uh, I don't think so. I, you know what? They can go ahead. I, I don't mind. I'm like 26 out of 29. Okay. How many... How many, how many did previous opponent have? None. No, I'm not, I don't know if it's none. I have none. So I was really just projecting. Did my, did the match screen go? There it is. Oh, we did it. Oh, yes. Oh, three incoming guys. Show me that smile again. I'll keep it. I mean, I got student warfare into like, like nothing else. I just don't have time to play enough to compete anymore. Maybe next minute your legacy. Keeps it. I think those two would definitely be my. You know what? I really wouldn't mind Team Jabra and 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 Jing. What did you guys think of the uh, live the live the dream cube? That was definitely my favorite cube in a in quite a while. Okay. This guy dead. Okay, you're not dead. Interesting. Okay, into the royal. Yep, I had a feeling that was coming. <laughs> Sometimes I mana in my head. I'm like, this is what they're gonna do, and then they end up doing it, and I'm just like, okay. Um. Yeah, let's play Mirror Crusader. I think the Mirror Crusader upside is the highest. Well, you know. Do, 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 do. It is Michael B. I loved it. I also I did better that cube than anyone I've ever played. I also loved it. Oh man, that's funny because I didn't uh I didn't like I didn't like the Tinkerer's Cube at all. I thought there was no removal. It, I, I just didn't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. They have three cards. Hmm. Fascinating. <sighs> I'm worse good for the biscuit and hope they don't just hit a terminus here or, uh, terminus us i guess they had six lot oh we just we just win well that's okay um i didn't we didn't really see anything spell sky could come in maybe it's just eh. it's whatever Oh, baby. J-Bro, keep them all. I mean, we're seriously, we're, we're definitely mulling. That was just a joke. Okay, okay. Mm. Mm. See, here's the question. We're not mulliganing a land because we definitely want to be able to hit both of these. If we don't hit a fourth land, I'd rather keep one of these. If we do hit a fourth land, I'd rather just go mirror and hero, will leave. So, like, I don't know. I think we're going to... I think we're going to... We'll get rid of Mirror and Crusader. It's not the best in this matchup. And we'll just assume that there's no possible way we can't hit a fourth mana by turn four. Okay. One or two drop would be great. Just give me something to play. 
We got about 12 of them. Okay, well, I guess that kind of counts, but not really. Teferi Time Raveler. I've lost to three people in a trophy race. Jingading was one, Protoss X and Alpha Frog was the others. I've never even heard of you losing a trophy race, so this is actually news to me. Um, well... I'm really tempted to path this. I'm worried it will get out of hand. And we can't do it on their turn anymore. Or during combat, so... You know, that's kind of annoying. Oh, that's that was that was what we're talking about here. So not even if they bounce this, like I'd rather them bounce this than the than the golem. Okay, well now we're probably dead. So fingers crossed. Their names are sealed in the pain region of my mind's soul, and their completion made me want to do, be better at magic in life. Oh, alright, so you're literally just going to wipe the board. Sounds good. Well, that's unfortunate. The old two planeswalkers wipe the board. Cool. Like, what, do you guys scoop here? Like, I mean, is this even worth playing it out? <laughs> Lingering souls. Fascinating. Teferi, or uh, Gideon, rather. Seven drop. Hmm. Sphinx is rub. Marshall coup. And that's the end. Yep. All right, cool. John, have a good afternoon. Have a good night, buddy. Get your work done. I appreciate you, my dude. Um, yeah, I'm just submitting like this again. Condemn doesn't seem great. Spell Sky doesn't seem great. A lot of the removal. Uh, we saw two sweepers, so Spell Sky's not going to do anything about that. Sure. Guys, we're just trying for the one two at this point. Wow. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. Land? No. Okay. Three one ones, sure. And no third land. Okie dokie. I think Gideon Ally scares me more than Teferi here, so. Is it worth? Probably. We kind of have to do it, so. Literally paying four life to get rid of tokens? Okay. Sure. Okay. I mean, I'll eat a 
flyer. Sure. Yep, that's pretty good. I guess we have Fairgrounds Warden. Is that better? Okay, not terrible. If they kill this, we still have Tribunal. And if they try to wipe, we can still go Adonto Vanguard. Okay, so it probably is a board. It's probably just Terminus, and they're gonna they're gonna attack with Spirit first. Yep. I don't know why you wouldn't attack with both, but maybe it's not a board wipe. Sure. Land. Not a land. So I play this, I can't get rid of you, and I kind of have to get rid of you. So. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six. They also have six. So they can just play this guy next turn, and we still have nothing to do against that. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. I wish we had a fourth land, but. Yep. Land seven seven. Nope, just a six drop. Okay, that's yep, and that's the end. O three with mono white at the behest of Team J Bro. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully next turn, uh, the draft itself won't suck ass, and maybe we can win a game or a match. That'd be fantastic. I would really look forward to that. But until then, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate the support. Check out nordvpn.org/slash Frank Lepore. Sixty eight percent off a two year subscription along with one month free. Check out managerators.com. Uh, you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.